Hey good people, it is Tishara from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about my five easy tips to spice up your wardrobe. Yes friend, it's all about going from basic to bust down in today's video. And here's the thing, it is really also for those among us who fall into two categories. Either you have a lot of pieces, but these days they're looking a little bit mundane, they're not exciting you, or you're not quite sure what your style pillar is, as I explore over in my newest ebook how to declutter your closet and curate a style that you love. My style pillar is Elevated Simplicity and I definitely have used all of these tips to take my more essential kind of basics to the next level to indeed elevate them. So if that sounds good to you, if you want some style tips that anybody can incorporate into their wardrobes, then my friend, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Also that you are following me over on social media, on Instagram and TikTok for daily style and self-care inspiration. And let's get started. Before I get started, let's jump into today's OOTD. This dress is by Reformation. It is linen, as you can see, it is a halter dress. You will see it in a cutaway because I love how it just hugs the body and it also is a great length for summer. Um, I am pairing it with these hoops from Israel. Always gonna do gold accessories over here, friend, okay? On my wrist is the Cartier Justin Clue and two cuffs by Free Maiden, that is a black owned brand, will be linked below for sure. And today's fragrance is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, which I also shared with you all in the Ultimate Summer Dress Guide. It is the perfect kind of light and fresh scent for summer. Now let's jump into these tips. A portion of today's video is in partnership with my friends over at Understands and they are a great woman-owned mission-driven lingerie company that is based in Canada. If you follow me over on Instagram then you have seen many of their pieces. They are just delicious, luxurious, soft to the touch. Some of the most feminine lingerie you will ever find. Both bras, panties, and also they've recently started to create bustiers which I'm going to show y'all in just one minute. Which brings me to my my first tip, which is to not just wear lingerie under your clothing, but instead to make it part of your outfit. Let's start with styling a bralette and making the bralette actually be a piece of your outfit, okay? Once again, we're talking about how we can bring our lingerie to the forefront of our style to spice things up in our wardrobe. And I am wearing this Blue Bell bralette by Understance. It is in the color red, as you can see. It is in fire engine red okay it is giving red light special and I love the way it just pops underneath this sheer top from Styland y'all know that I actually grabbed this top um, during a Farfetch collab a few months ago and my favorite way to wear it is not with necessarily something that is dressy on the bottom but instead to play around with a style tip that I call contrast dressing so that means that I paired it with my mango wide leg denim these jeans for me come right about the ankle, which means that it's a great way to also show a nice shoe. I am wearing it with the Saint Laurent Mink Mules. These are mules that I first wore at Fashion Week. And whenever I'm just trying to take something up to a different level, I pull out these shoes. I pull out these shoes. I pull out these shoes and then look at what they're doing as you juxtapose the mink with the feathers around the collar. My God, today it's a whole vibe, especially because it would have been so easy to do the black bra or a black bra, which I will show you in just a minute. But what is more unexpected or what is unexpected in general is to bring out a pop of color. And the red here, I think does all of the talking as you walk into the door. Another thing that I should mention here is that the bluebell bralette is a bralette which means that there is no underwire yet it still has a great lift which I am here for. The lace detail is impeccable but it's also stretchy and it feels like it gives you great coverage. I am wearing a size 32D which I know is shocking right because when was the last time you found a bralette that came in cup sizes? understands for the win okay <laughs> so I'm wearing a size 32 D in this and let's move on to the next look with the same sheer top now I am fully aware that popping on a red bra with a sheer top is giving a rawr okay you know that <laughs> that interview <laughs> where the one was like I give a rawr from the time 
I wake up okay that is what that's giving and, and I know that that's not everybody's speed which is totally fine and so what I also want to encourage us to do if we are wearing something sheer and we want for our lingerie to peek through is to do something that's a bit more fuller coverage and this bra is called the Luna bra also without underwire but it is full coverage it has the girls up high I don't know how they do it, but it gives so much comfort and it also gives sleekness and sex appeal. And so with this outfit, what I wanted to do is not only pop on a black bra for you all, but also do something else fun with it, which is to wear it with a pair of sneakers. I am wearing the same exact pair of denim, but what did it for me this time, of course, were my Jordan 1s. And I'm the kind of person who loves to hit you with the heat unexpectedly, okay? So who would have thought that we would do a uh, sheer top with the feathers around the neckline, right? We would do a black bra, denim, that's already unexpected. And then when you look down, as you look, descend your eyeballs among the feet, hit them with a pair of sneakers ones at that no one is expecting it this is my friends how we're spicing up our wardrobes these are pieces that we already have you already have a black bra if you don't understand it's a great place to grab yours but you already have a black bra okay you already have likely something that is sheer or that can be layered in your wardrobe and don't tell me you don't have a pair of sneakers we all do it's all about how we put these things together in a way that's interesting to the eye and for me it can start with great lingerie Speaking of black bras, let's hop over to the Zoe Flex Wire Sheer Bra. This bra is one that has underwire and has a little pop of skin that peeks through that sheer part at the top. However, everything else is fully covered. This bra is lined, which I adore, okay? And it's the kind of thing that's gonna give you sexy but give you lift at the same time, which I think is hard to do with bras. Now, because of that and because the entire bust here is covered, I felt comfortable wearing this this one with a blazer on top and I am wearing a Versace skirt and let's just pause here and give praises for Pilates because a couple months ago I couldn't even get this skirt on now it's, it's, it's still a little tight a button might have popped open as I was filming but I can get it on so we're gonna give praises for the progress okay and I love the way that this skirt looks with a long blazer contrast dressing the skirt is short we have that little peak of skin right at the top underneath the bra and then we're going to either cape the blazer or put our arms in the blazer either way the goal here is for the bra to be a little bit of a sexy silhouette because we are so covered your arms are covered the blazer is long yes leg is out but you only have a little peak of skin right there at the top of your stomach and so when that happens i think it is a great way to wear a piece of lingerie as a, as a statement piece to your outfit but you are still tasteful if that is something that you were concerned about the outfit is still elevated and this flex wire bra is a great way to do it I am going to be wearing you all a 32 D or double D in all of these bras this one too is a size 32 D and it actually had a little like gold ring here that I did take off for the purposes of this video only because I wanted it to look a little bit less bra like and so so there are little accoutrements on your lingerie that you feel like make it look a little bit too bedroom like feel free to take those things off because overall I actually had a Versace top that was a bra like top that no longer fit and so I ended up selling it over um, on my Poshmark page however this is no different from that it just actually lifts the girls up and is a lot more comfortable and this is a great party outfit for me a great special occasion outfit it's the kind of thing that I I actually wore something very similar on my birthday two years ago when we were out in Palm Springs. Um, I just love the idea once again of caping a blazer over something that is very feminine and very flirty. But let's move on now to the final understands piece that I want to highlight in this video and that is their new bustier. Can we have a little commotion? Can we have a little commotion for the bustier? This is my first time ever wearing a bustier, I have to admit. And I think I've always confused a bustier with a corset and thought that it was just gonna be super uncomfortable. This, however, is fully stretchable. It is no wiring in this whatsoever. The fabric is ruched, it is gathered. 
And again, there's no underwire, but the boobs are sitting, are sitting. I am just so pleased with this. And it also comes in two colors in both white and in blue. I am wearing the white here and I decided to do the white in two ways for y'all. The first is giving Mackenzie's mom. It's giving Mackenzie's mom. Look, her girlfriends called her up. They said, let's go to brunch. And she was like, listen, I've been so busy this summer. Uh, Mackenzie is in horseback riding lessons. She spent so much time with Sheila Johnson over at the Salamander, you know, really becoming a true equestrian, as well as she's knee deep these days into Mandarin lessons. Yeah, she's almost fully fluent. And so we're gonna take a family trip to China very soon. I mean, let's think about the economy, just all the ways that her being fluent in Mandarin is really gonna open her up for business opportunities. And so I've been busy, girl. Girl, I've been so busy. And she's gonna say, to her friends, she's gonna say, I'm just, I haven't even had time to do laundry, to get our maid sapphire to drop my dry cleaning off. And so uh, I'm gonna throw something on. I'll meet you there at one. And she's gonna show up with this song. And her friends are gonna be like, oh girl, you cute. But in the back of their minds, they're thinking this old nasty trick. She knew she was getting ready to put an outfit on as Mackenzie's mama does because the bustier is what is going to do all the talking. Look at this with this white open shirt, okay? We're gonna once again play with proportions, okay? So long top on top of the bustier. We have a short linen skirt from Reformation and I pulled out a pair of shoes that I don't wear enough, y'all, and they are my Bottega Curve Sandals. My nephew took a pen and decided to write on them, so ignore that <laughs> but it is I feel like one of the quiet kind of luxuries in my collection because baby blue is a color that I love so much so when we juxtapose the shoe with the gold Bottega clutch it's just a nice airy effortless look that I think really gives feminine and plays nicely up against the bustier and if you want to wear the bustier in a way that's a bit more edgy, of course, we got to pull out a pair of jeans. And this is probably how I would gravitate towards styling it the most. And it is with my Margiela cut out denim. We have seen these. We have loved these. We continue to adore these because they just give, girl, especially when you have a more form fitting or a more like midriff showing top. Uh, I feel like that juxtaposition as far as proportions is concerned, it just works. If you hear nothing else, okay, from this video, know that playing around with pr proportions, especially when you want your lingerie to peek through, is so important, okay? And so wearing the jeans here, I kept on the blue Bottega Curve sandals. I grabbed my Bottega clutch. I think I said before when I styled this, it was with the Bottega clutch, but obviously that was with the Valentino Raffia bag, which I will get back to very soon, okay? Um, I think it's a great way to style the bustier. One of my favorite outfits actually in this entire portion of the video and what you have seen you all that runs consistent is that I'm not necessarily telling you to go outside with your bra on with a pair of you know uh, Daisy Dukes. Now if you choose to do that girl do you. If you like it I love it. I, I absolutely love that for you. Uh, it, it's, it's white toenail season but for me it's much more about giving a subtle sex appeal and so it's that layering piece that really does the trick. Many thanks to Understands for sponsoring that first part of our video. Please use code TASHARA15 to save you 15% girl over at Understands and let's keep going with the other tips. The next way to spice up your wardrobe is by adding texture. Texture is something that I love to add and I've talked to you all about this before in various different forms, especially because if you're like me with a style pillar of elevated simplicity and you really enjoy wearing more neutrals or having a wardrobe that is full of basic or essential pieces, what you can do to add more interest to things, to spice things up, is to add texture. And because it's summer, I want to talk to you all about my favorite form of texture, which is raffia. 
Raffia has been everywhere, girl. Um, it is quintessential for summer. It's definitely on trend right now, although it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And the first piece I want to mention, y'all, is my new Raffia bag by Valentino. Now, if you follow me over on social media, you've already seen this bag. You may also know that I scored it, y'all, at TJ Maxx. It was brand new and $500 at least, I think, cheaper than what it was retail. It may have actually been more because... Since that time, I quickly Googled to see if I could find it. I found it over on Saks, and then just like that, the bag disappeared. It has come back into stock. It has left. It has come back in stock. If I can find it, I will link it down below because I was looking for a tan bag, but most importantly, to have a tan bag that also is in a texture has done something amazing to my outfits this summer. It is part of, I believe, the V logo collection because it does have the V here, the classic Valentino symbol. It has the two large studs which are known as the Roman studs. We have our top handles and on the inside, it's giving you a pop of gold with the shoulder strap. Not quite cross body, but shoulder strap, okay? That's my first raffia piece that I am loving right now. Also has feet on the bottom does something great to every outfit that I wear it with. Next, let's go to this pair of platform shoes. My mom saw me wear these recently and she was like, what are you just saying? You ain't like shoes like that? And I was like, I, okay, listen, what I, what I actually, what, the, I, why are you reminding me of what I said? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Because I've never said that I dislike platform shoes. What I've said is it's hard to do them at my height. This is not a crazy high platform as you can see. It's probably about three, maybe four inches, much shorter than some of the ones that I have mentioned before on this channel that were not my speed. This pair is also super affordable. They came from Dolce Vita. They were gifted to me. I am on their PR list. And I just love, once again, the way that the raffia and this tight, light weave, how it adds an element of interest, how it spices up a great little summer dress, maybe a pair of linen pants. Get you some raffia in your wardrobe and shoes are a great way to do it. Once again these are very very comfortable because of the platform in the front and also the size and the width of the heel but if platforms are not your thing then I have another great option that is raffia as well as this texture in the front I don't know what you would call this I also have a skirt with this in the front I'm gonna still include it in the raffia category but it has these little pom-poms in the front okay and these are by Sam Edelman I was just talking to my girlfriend Chrissy recently about this if you are not over on Sam Edelman's website are you not hip to one known as Mr. Sam Edelman, then you're missing out on some of the most affordable shoes and the most interesting silhouettes. My good friend Kendra has these in red. Because of my wardrobe, I decided to go for a neutral color. So this tan with pops of white really does it for me. I actually am wearing these shoes with this dress in my ultimate summer dress guide. I will pop up um, an example of how this look came together so you can see what these shoes, what the texture is doing to to a monotone outfit. The chocolate of my skin, the chocolate of the dress is completely broken up and elevated when we add the raffia of the shoes. Another wider heel, obviously not as wide as the Dolce Vita's, they're not platforms, but between the base of the shoe, which is very, very comfortable, and the width of this heel, almost like a martini glass heel, these shoes are some of my favorites that I have purchased in a very long time. And the last piece of texture that I will mention as far as spicing up your wardrobe is concerned is this great skirt by Desigual. It is their partnership with the Haitian designer Stella John. I have been a fan of Stella John ever since I saw a raffia skirt that Monroe Steel has that is in different colors and layers. And to this day, girl, if I can find that skirt, when I tell you, I'll do something strange for it, okay? Because it is magnificent. And evidently, that kind of texture is something that she does often because she added it to this skirt that I think is in this great pattern. It looks like an old, like, coffee sack. Uh, once again, she's a Haitian designer, and so she often has those kind of cultural elements in her pieces. I have worn this with a simple button down. I have worn this, y'all, with a very simple tank, okay? It is the raffia. It is, I think this is called raffia. It is this piece 
on the bottom that's going to do it every single time. Again, not raffia in the same traditional sense as the other pieces, but I think it still fits within that category. Now, if you're interested in this skirt, just know that it comes in a size universal on the website. Don't understand that. This is why I don't understand that. The only way that I can describe it is maybe because it's meant to be a layering piece. And so if you see it over on the website, there's actually um, a very long button down top underneath it. And so that top peaks under the bottom. And so I'm thinking maybe that's why it's in a size U or universal. But either way, I am a 28 waist and I am wearing this or about a size six and I am wearing this on my waist. And so for me, it works as a skirt, as a standalone piece, but it is great for the summer. It is great for vacation. And once again, when you pair it with a simple top, with something that is very basic up top, the raffia on the bottom of the skirt does all the talking. Tip number three, which I have alluded to multiple times throughout this video, is to play with proportions. That is a great way to spice up your wardrobe. Let me give you an example of this. Many people have been saying that skinny jeans are dead that they are DOA 187 is a homicide on them, okay? I don't believe that that's necessarily true, but I think styling skinny jeans and our traditional silhouette that we knew in the early aughts is gone, okay? And by that I mean this. We are not going to put on a fitted top with skinny jeans in a stiletto. It's giving Paris Hilton. Okay, we, we, we have said this on this channel multiple times. I just want to remind you that I don't want you to jump out here and do that. Okay, I would much rather see you wear a fitted top with a pair of wide leg jeans or wide leg trousers. Even something that maybe it's not wide leg but has a little bit more volume uh, throughout the hips. Something that's pleated in the front and then it's tapered at the ankle. Play with proportions. I would love to see you put on an oversized top and then you wear your skinny jeans. Maybe even do a nice little half tuck, okay, to really bring interest into the outfit. But the goal is to break up that sameness, okay? If these were pieces of a puzzle, no two pieces are the exact same because if they were, they would not fit together. So in order to make your style come together, we have to juxtapose different pieces. And playing around with proportions is exactly what does that. Now I pulled out my phone because I wanted to give you an example from over on IG, politics and fashion. If you're not following me, you should, okay? And as you can see, I am wearing the Jacquemus halter top. And what I have done is worn this crop halter top with the back pretty much out with my high rise wide or kind of almost balloon fit Margiela jeans, which you all have seen in the beginning of this video. My goal here was to have the sexiness up top and to have the edge on the bottom. Bottom. We're talking about puzzle pieces, pieces that fit together. And then I threw the blazer over my shoulders to really elevate the look as well. None of these items are the same. Someone may have saw each of these in different parts of the department store, for example. But for me, they work well together because it is unexpected. We're talking about spicing up our wardrobe in new and interesting ways. The next way to spice up your wardrobe is by using metallic accessories and shoes. And you all probably know that this is my jam. Literally, like if this was a song that was on the radio, I'd be like, that's what I said. Like it is my jam to pull out something gold, especially because I think to wear a neutral handbag is the easy thing to do. Many of us, because we want a handbag that is going to kind of be the workhorse of our wardrobe, we go for black, we go for uh, tan, we may go for a navy blue or a gray, but we don't often think about what gold would do, especially when you want to add a little bit of spice and you want to find a way to take an outfit that is very neutral or every day and make it more elevated. For me, I have, as you all have already seen, the Bottega Clutch, the first generation clutch. I grabbed this when it first came out. At that time, they did not have the wave design. I've shared with you all before my handbag collection video that I will have linked down below that I really wish that I would have waited for that. I mean, I had no way of knowing it was going to come out, but there's a bit of a style defect in this one being that the color has started to rub off the leather. Nevertheless, you can't see it because this is where I hold it or it's worn underneath my arms, but ooh. Speaking of the way that gold accessories just pop, 
It might be silver for you. It might be rose gold. Whatever the metallic is, I just think it does something magnificent to a look. Now, because I was a bit concerned about the color rubbing off of my clutch, I also grabbed at the Marnie outlet a few months ago, this bag, it is called the Paneer bag or the Panay bag, not quite sure how to pronounce it. I have seen this bag also in silver online. I've never seen the gold online, but call a Marnie outlet if you were interested in this one in particular because I have loved having this. It also has a purple crossbody strap on the inside. Now we have not just the metallic, but we also have that purple that is across the handle and that's across like the piping of the bag. Feet on the bottom that is going to make this little handbag, it's gonna make this little handbag right here bring the trains to a screeching halt. Okay, I feel like this is one of the most interesting accessories that I have in my wardrobe and I'm so happy that I have it. One of the looks that you all saw me style this with was my Hanifa dress in the um, green color, that chartreuse color. And I think the purple matched well with it, but what really did it for me, of course, was the gold. And y'all, I have multiple pairs of gold shoes, but the pair I do wanna mention in this video today are a pair that I know many of you have also grabbed and they are the Sam Edelman, speaking once again of Sam Edelman, I'm, I'm a fan y'all, okay, uh, tie up gladiator sandals in gold. And I think these come in multiple colors, but I went for the gold because as I shared with you all in my summer haul or my summer capsule wardrobe video, I went for the gold because I felt like in that color, in a tie sandal or a wrap up sandal, when it is a flat shoe, it still makes your outfit look very elevated. It's still adds interest to your outfit without wearing a pair of flip-flops during the summer and so I know some of us think well if I want to dress up I have to wear a pair of heels others are like I'm not wearing a pair of heels for nothing that is what a gold shoe is going to do for you whether or not you are a heel person or not once you have a metallic flat sandal I think it just opens up so many possibilities in your wardrobe and the last very easy way to spice up your wardrobe is going to be sunglasses. Now you all ask me often about my sunglasses and I'm going to be honest, I've been a bit nervous to kind of delve deep into this because I don't believe that I am a sunglasses expert. However, I am starting to really push myself to grab more because I truly believe that no matter what you are wearing, your sunglasses are going to be the cherry on top for sure. And even in styling videos, sometimes I forget to pull out my sunnies, but it does not mean in real life, I don't have a pair of bust down shades on because I do, sis, okay? And I have some glasses here that are across categories, but they fall within three categories. First, let's talk about those sunnies that are retro. I believe retro sunnies are such a great way to really make your outfit kind of have a vintage appeal to it. And so these are a pair of Tom Ford dupes. I am still obsessed with the Tom Ford pair, even more now that I have these from Amazon Girl. They may have been $15, super affordable, okay? The orange lenses on these are what's really doing it for me. They have different color frames as well. I think I've also seen them with yellow lenses, but it's just, once again, that vintage style that's going to spice up a really great look. Now the next pair I have, these are a bit older, they're from Free People. Free People, uh, you all have great sunnies, just keep that in mind. And it is this pair that I almost have, I think this is called a butterfly shaped lens, and then they have the gold arm on the sides. The lenses are a little bit lighter on these as well. I like the idea of wearing sunglasses that have lighter lenses because when you go inside you don't have to necessarily take them off. Uh, this pair I've had in my wardrobe or my collection for probably about three years. I don't think they're available anymore but Free People always has this kind of style sunny so I highly recommend checking them out. The other category of sunglasses that I love are oversized sunglasses. For me that works also because I don't have as you can see any hair. I like to call myself a bald-headed scallywag okay 
get into these okay they are by long chomp i have linked these before i love the fact that they are not only oversized but they also have that pop of white across the top so they look great with pretty much anything that i wear them with but i especially like to put these on when i'm wearing something that is pretty basic and doesn't have a lot going on because i think the oversized sunglasses and that pop of white really gives the outfit again a lot of interest and a lot of spice and the last category that I feel like adds interest to your outfit are cat eye sunglasses. These are by Fendi. They are new. You all would have seen these in the New York City vlog. I love the pop of gold on each side and the F detail. As I mentioned, these sunnies go across price points. These are the ones that are going to be a little bit more. But I felt like I had to include these in my wardrobe because they are angled but not an extreme cat eye. And this silhouette for the shape of my face, I think it's probably one of my most favorite. And I love it the most when it is not too extreme. It kind of gives you just a little bit of a pop of that cat eye. Again, that retro feel without being over the, over the top. But honestly, I feel like whatever sunglasses you have, whatever it is that you gravitate towards, the goal here is just to include eyewear in your look to spice things up a little bit. And that is it, good people. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about my five easy tips to spice up your wardrobe. Many thanks to Understands for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Let me know down below what was your favorite tip or what tip did I miss? What do you do to spice up your wardrobe? The tribe would love to know. In the meantime, please make sure you are following me over on TikTok and on Instagram for daily style and self-care inspiration. Subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 50K here on YouTube. And I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.